Chairwoman Waters, Ranking Member McHenry, members of the committee. My name is Vlad Tenev, and I'm the Chief Executive Officer and co-founder of Robinhood. Thank you for the invitation to speak about Robinhood and the millions of people we serve. Almost eight years ago, Beju Bhatt and I founded Robinhood. We believed then, as we do now, that the financial system should be built to work for everyone, not just a select few. We dreamed of making investing more accessible, especially for people without a lot of money. The stock market is a powerful wealth creator, but half of U.S. Mr. households Staff, participate in it. Mr. Staff, uh, I would like you to use your limited time to talk directly to what happened January 28th and your involvement in it. Certainly. Madam Chair, Madam Chair, the witness has the opportunity to, to, to give their own testimony. Excuse me, you are not your time for your questioning. You are not recognized, uh, Mr. Uh, please go right in front and speak directly to the question. McHenry. Mr. McHenry, yes, of course. <laughs> we created Robinhood to economically empower all Americans by opening financial markets to them. I was born in Bulgaria, a country with a financial system that was on the verge of collapse. At the age of five, I immigrated with my family to America in search of a better life. I have benefited from all America has to offer, and Robinhood's mission to democratize finance for all has a very special significance for me. Robinhood's platform allows people from all backgrounds to invest with no account minimums and zero commissions. Contrary to some very misleading and highly uninformed reports, we see evidence that most of our customers are investing for the long term with features like fractional shares, dividend reinvestment, recurring investments. Our customers can start with small amounts and grow their investments in blue chip stocks and ETFs over time. We've always recognized the responsibility that comes with helping people invest. We'll continue to enhance our educational platform to help customers no matter where they are in their financial journey. Hundreds of free educational resources are, are available to everyone on our Learn website right now. While markets fluctuate, this tells me our business model is working for everyday Americans. The total value of our customers' assets on Robinhood exceeds the net amount of money they have deposited with us by over $35 billion. This, this tells me our business model is working for everyday Americans, the Robinhood community. Many people say that Robinhood has helped them to pay car loans, reduce student loan debt, meet daily bills, save for the future, and we're proud to serve them. You've invited me today to discuss the events of last month, and I welcome this opportunity. In late January, many brokerage firms saw a massive increase in trading activity in a handful of stocks. Prices were moving dramatically day to day, even hour to hour. One specific day, January 28th, proved to be a completely unprecedented event. The spike in trading activity and volatility meant that Robinhood Securities, our clearing broker, had to hold the line and post additional firm capital as collateral to support our clearinghouse deposit demands. To put it in perspective, on January 28th, our daily deposit requirement was 10 times more than on January 25th. As a result, Robinhood Securities, along with many other firms, imposed temporary trading restrictions on certain securities. We began allowing limited buys of these securities the following day, and we have since lifted the restrictions entirely. There are two points I want to make clear about these temporary restrictions. First, Robinhood Securities put the restrictions in place in an effort to meet increased regulatory deposit requirements, not to help hedge funds. We don't answer to hedge funds. We serve the millions of small investors who use our platform every day to invest. Second, Robinhood immediately secured additional funds. Altogether, through capital raising and other measures, we've increased our liquidity by more than $3 billion to cushion ourselves against increased collateral requirements and related market stress in the future. Despite the unprecedented market conditions in January, at the end of the day, what happened is unacceptable to us. To our customers, I'm sorry and I apologize. Please know that we are doing everything we can to make sure this won't happen again. And I wanna highlight one more thing. The existing two-day period to settle trades exposes investors and the industry 
to unnecessary risk. There is no reason why the greatest financial system in the world cannot settle trades in real time. I believe we can and should act now to deploy our intellectual capital and our engineering resources to move to real time settlement. Together, we can solve this. Before I close, I want to sincerely thank the millions of customers who continue to use Robinhood to access the markets every day. We are grateful and committed to you. Members of the committee, I appreciate the opportunity to answer your questions.